Hi, my name is Martha Riley. I am executive director of Nuba Water Project and co-founder of the Walk for Sudan. I'm really excited to invite you to the 14th annual Walk for Sudan um, that's going to be held in October this year. Share a little bit about it so you understand what's going on and how we're going to do that this year. All right. As I said, this year's event will be virtual. It will be on Sunday, October 4th. At one o'clock, we'll have a program that begins with an online link that you can watch from wherever you are. And after the program, about 1.20 or so, you can take a walk for Sudan wherever you are. Um, we're gonna keep the, link, the links active for an entire week or more so that if that day is not convenient for you, you can join us at any time. Register for free at www.walkforsudan.org and we would love to have you share photos and or video of your walk at hashtag walk for Sudan and on any social media. As I said, registration is free, but donations are allowed and all proceeds benefit Nuba Water Project. Projects include water pump repair kits, SAFI drops, which are water purification drops, borehole repair, secondary education support, university scholarships, and clean water and sanitation workshops. Some of our projects were, are delayed till next year or till COVID is under better control, but the people in the Nuba Mountains right now are very isolated and have the same needs for clean water and education that they have before. Our university students are still in school, learning virtually, remotely, and we have a medical student who's waiting to get in, and we hope that that could be very soon. Previous events, some of you know, um, have taken place at Campus Middle School with an hour-long celebration, with a short program, a Sudanese market, free t-shirts, and um, after the uh, uh, refreshments and music, everybody goes outside to get ready for the walk. So people leave Campus Middle School, walk across the street into Cherry Creek State Park, follow along where we have little villages signs along the way, um, and people cheering you on. You can stop at the lake in the past and pick up some water and carry it on your head like they do in Sudan, and then walk back along into the school for a little bit of a wrap up. Some pictures just to what it, what it has looked like in the past. Uh, lots of fun with lots of excitement. Um, this year we want to still honor our t-shirt tradition. And so we're offering a gold color t-shirt this year, but you have to order it online and pay for it directly to um, a t-shirt company. And you can do that by going to www.walkforsudan.org and they will send the t-shirt directly to you. We have some traditional honorary chairs who have really supported our events in the past, Tamara Banks, Andrew Romanoff, Senator Bennett, and former Congressman Kaufman. And we have been very honored in the past to have Manut Bol join us uh, in 2010. He was the tallest NBA player in his day, played for the Bullets and another team. Um, and this was one of my avid students, Justice, who at that time was six feet tall. Uh, Manut Bol was seven six or seven seven, and uh, he is from South Sudan. And we were very honored to have him come to the Walk for Sudan that year. Unfortunately, he died the year after that, and that was a huge loss. But we are very happy to have Irvin Johnson pictured here, along with Mark Randall and Walter Davis, who oftentimes come and join us at the Walk for Sudan. And then we in Denver are very excited about Bol Bol, Manu Bol's son, who is now a Denver Nugget. And we hope that one day he'll be able to join us at the Walk for Sudan. One benefit of a virtual event is that people from all over the US and all, all over the world can participate. So help us find participants everywhere. All they have to do is go to walkforsudan.org and they can register for free. As of September 1st, we had participants signed up from Oregon, Texas, Colorado, of course, and Virginia. And we are, uh, and as far as the world goes, North America, Sudan, Uganda, and Kenya. And I know those uh, places that will have a lot more places involved as people start to register. Many thanks to our supporters, Xfinity, generous donation again this year. Lotus Financial Partners has been with us since the, almost the very beginning. We really appreciate all of their support that they give. Um, Julie Holt Homes is supporting us again. And we've had longtime support from Sterling Entertainment and Frito-Lay. Thank you for participating in the 14th annual Walk for Sudan. We really appreciate the excitement and the enthusiasm and um, the care that you show for people in Sudan. Life is not about how well you live, it's about how well others live because of you. That's my favorite quote. 
Thanks and hope to see you at the Walk for Sudan. Bye-bye.